Today, new guitar day. And this one is a legendary guitar. Ta-da! So what we have here is an Ibanez RG550 LTD. Uh, according to the serial number, uh, it was made in the Fujian factory in Nagano in June 1994, which means at the time of this recording, this guitar is 30 years old. Um, for its age, it's in an, ama it's an amazing condition. Uh, the frets are, are still very good, the, the neck is, uh, is amazing, there is no twisting, no warping. Everything is, um, well, it's according to its age. Uh, the only thing really that I need to take care of is um, the oxidation process. Uh, because uh, probably this guitar stayed in a case for some time. So it means um, the screws are a bit um, rusty. Uh, the pole pieces on the pickups are uh, full of rust. The frets are kind of greenish because of the oxidation. And I can see that the finish, um, the very nice Cosmo black finish on the low pro edge uh, starts to, to peel off a bit. And same on the knobs, um, there is a kind of a... Uh, green rusty um, uh, cover. Uh, apart from that it has a few uh, dings but like that's part of the life of the instrument so I'm not going to do anything about it. Um, apart from that what can I say the neck is amazing it's very flat it's very comfortable um, the action is crazy low I think on the um, E, the um, high E string is one millimeter, which is which is even too low for me. So I'm gonna raise it just just a bit. Um, but that means that the, the quality of um, this guitar is amazing. So you know um, the 550 LTD was like in 1994, uh, the top of the line of the uh, LG 550 series. And um, I really like this uh, sawtooth uh, inlays on the fretboard. It's uh, and the binding around the fretboard, by the way. It gives a, a very, a very classy look. So now, what's the plan for this guitar? Um, I'm going to disassemble it. I'm going first to take care of the neck, um, the frets. Uh, the fretboard looks a bit dry, so I'm going to hydrate it. Um, for the neck, I think that's it. There's not a lot to do. It's really um, in great condition. Uh, about the body and electronics, so I'm going to uh, remove this plate, uh, trying to remove the rust from all these screws. The knobs, the same. I'm going to uh, disassemble uh, the low pro edge bridge and same, clean it, remove the rust at, as best as I, as I can. And for uh, the pickups, um, um, I will try to uh, remove the rust on the pole pieces without touching the, the plastic itself, because uh, these are the original pickups, V7, S1, and V8 pickups, and I don't want to, to mess with them. Uh, I'm going to um, raise a bit the action on the treble side, on the, the uh, base side it, it's perfectly fine and um, last but not least I'm going probably there are um, like interesting uh, kind of old style uh, strap locks I think I'm going to put back um, the Dunlop strap locks that I put on all my guitars so I can I will be able to use the same strap for um, this one too let's go
30 years old, Ibanez RG550 LTD. Um, it's just a piece of art. So among the uh, good surprises of this guitar, uh, first of all, the neck, uh, very flat, very comfortable. I fear it would be a bit too flat, but that's not the case. It's really comfortable, really. Uh, it was made in Japan and you can feel uh, this kind of, of necks, uh, really high quality. Uh, the second good surprise is, in fact, this neck, I don't know if you can see it, but the stripes um, of the wood, the grain of the wood goes this way, and you also can see it on the headstock, it's uh, this way. Um, which means this is a quarter sawn neck. Uh, quarter sawn means the wood was cut in such a way that um, the neck follows the direction of the wood fibers, which makes it um, very durable, very strong, uh, very resistant to uh, warping or tension. Uh, the counterpart is it's a bit more expensive to manufacture because you get less wood if you cut it this way, but it's a very good thing for a neck that is so thin. One point where I had a bit of a struggle was to set up this bridge, the floating bridge. Uh, this is a very good quality bridge. It's called a low pro edge. So it's a, the edge, Ibanez edge, but it's a low uh, version. Uh, you can see it's very, very flat on the, on the table. Um, I had a bit of a struggle to set it up because um, when I tuned the guitar to E standard, uh, the, sp the spring tension was not sufficient and therefore the bridge went this way, this angle, and would not go flat. Even, um, you know, turning this, the screws on, on the claw to the end, it just wouldn't go flat. So I changed the springs, uh, the original springs, I replaced them with uh, a few toned uh, springs. Um, there are two advantages. The first one is these springs are noiseless. So they won't rattle when you when you play. And the second, they have a bit more tension, uh, which allowed me finally to get the bridge uh, completely flat. And um, and so now it's, it's uh, really perfectly balanced. You can uh, go this way or pull it this way. It stays in tune perfectly. So um, I wanted to mention that too. So that's it. I hope you like uh, this uh, restoration of uh, a 30 years old uh, Ibanez RG550. Uh, for me, it's always a joy when I can take a guitar um, and make it shine again, uh, remove the rust, remove the dirt, um, make it as beautiful as it can be. Uh, of course, taking uh, this, its age into consideration. Um, if you like this kind of video, I I have a lot of um, other ideas of videos of guitar restoration, uh, guitar upgrades, um, even uh, guitars that not necessarily belong to me, but I want to present you uh, from a friend. So um, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss them.